Hello and welcome to the in-depth series of Drishti IAS. My name is Pooja Devedi. Do you know that there are twins of black holes? On Earth, we have black holes in space. Now, coterminous to them, we have blue holes in our ocean. What are these blue holes? Is there any life sustaining itself miraculously in these blue holes? Why are we talking about this? We are going to discuss all that from the perspective of G.S. Mains paper 1 and of course preliminary paper. Scientists have revealed that they have discovered the world's second deepest blue hole in the Chetumal Bay that is off the coast of Mexico. Okay and it is actually off the coast of Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. I will try to cover it in news on map. What is a blue hole? We, we have to talk about that as well. It is a massive underwater sinkhole which is hundreds of meters long and it is often the height of several skyscrapers which spans areas that are bigger than cities. They are believed to be formed during the latter ice ages around 11,000 years ago because of the origin, erosion of limestone terrains. Like sinkholes form in the light limestone terrains on earth, it could also be possible for the oceans. When sea water meets limestone, the water easily permeates. Okay, this is limestone. Water, when it meets the surface, it easily gets into the terrain of limestone. And because of their porosity, it is able to react with them much more than water. This enables chemicals in the water to react with limestone and it eats them away. Once glaciers melted and sea waters rose over time, what happens? Because this would have happened, this happened ages ago. We do not know if there were oceans back then as uh, in those places or not. So it is theorized that once glaciers melted and sea water rose over time, water rushed down into these caverns and filled them up, creating these big sinkholes. And, and they are known as blue holes. The name blue holes is such because of their indigo colored centers and light blue perimeters. They follow the rules of the ocean, which are which is subject to tides. Moving ahead, now if we talk about what do we know about the blue hole in the Chetumal Bay, we have to talk about this region in news or map. I will get a question for this. Tamja, it means deep water, is the blue hole in Chetumal Bay. It is about 900 feet deep. For example, if I have to tell you the depth of it, the Statue of Unity is 600 feet tall. World 1, which is India's tallest skyscraper in Mumbai, with 76 stories is 919 feet. The giant pole spans an area of 13,660 square kilometers. While the sinkhole was originally discovered in the year 2021, it was only recently documented in the science journal Frontiers in Marine Science. Tamja has steep sides with slopes almost 80 degrees. The mouth of the cavern, it sits around 15 feet below the sea level. It is the second largest blue hole, just for shots of the record set by the deepest known one. That is the dragon hole in the South China Sea. Clear cut prelims fact it is given. So here is Parasal Island in the South China Sea and you can say that the uh, dragon hole is to the south of the Parasal Island. I hope you are able to see it. Dragon hole is 987 feet deep and it is far deeper than the previous record holder Dean's blue hole in the Bahamas. This dragon hole is mentioned in the Ming Dynasty novel as well, Journey to the West, in which a supernatural monkey character gets a magic cudgel from an undersea kingdom ruled by a dragon. Okay, And they are hard to reach and hence not many have studied them. They are largely misunderstood and blue holes are considered ecological hotspots with abundance of plants and animals. See. Interestingly, oxygen is scarce inside these caves and sunlight is only available near the surface. But we are suspecting that there are plants and animals that can, uh, you know, sustain themselves with that amount of whatever is, you know, available to them. So energy created by bacteria that uses the sulfate instead of oxygen during the process of photosynthesis is used by these, you can say, organisms which are living in these blue holes. They could also tell us about a life on other planets. Of course, they will be very interesting to know about how it will be very interesting to know about how they are sustaining themselves in, you know, without oxygen and sunlight. 
Now, in 2012, researchers studying blue holes in the Bahamas found bacteria deep in the caverns where no life form dwelled. The DNA analysis of these microbes from five different Bahamian blue holes found absolutely no shed. Interesting, very interesting. So, I hope you understood this topic. That's it. Thank you so much for watching.